I will protect Pandora. Sivako! This scene was inspired by Ubisoft's new game, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. It has an absolutely unreal environment and here we will go over how you can recreate it all within Blender. Important things that we will cover are character animation, VDB volumes and AI upscaling in the compositing stage. Let's get started. The story is that the RDA is mining for resources. With their mining operations, they destroy the western frontier of Pandora, the Natvi homeland. For Natvi, this is the fight for survival. To begin, we have two main characters, the Na'vi, which is Gwaze from Avatar, and the RDA mech. We summon the Na'vi from Sketchfab and reassemble the mech from the BMS mech squad. The Na'vi is armed with a heavy bow and explosive arrows. Upon contact, they explosively release a powerful paralytic that disables the driver of the mech. On the other side, the mech is armed bilaterally with high-caliber machine guns. The stage is set for their face-off. We upload the Navi to Mixamo for quick rigging and we download a set of five mocap data components. A run, a turn right, shooting the arrow, standing and then the idle. We combine these animations using the NLA editor the bow is parented to the left-hand bone of the Na'vi. The bowstring is animated by shape keys and synchronized to the movement of the right hand. For the arrow, we use the child of constraints to be first connected with the backbone of the Na'vi and then the hand bone when she draws the arrow. We then simply keyframe the position of it as it leaves the bow. For the mech, we make an IK rig and we shoot a reference video to animate over. Admittedly, the scan makes us look a bit silly, but it does work well. In principle, you shoot a reference video and you animate the bones of your rig over the movement of your reference. However, in our case, this did not work well because of big difference in focal lengths between our digital and real cameras. We therefore scrap both the rig and the reference and we again refer to Mixamo. Here, we just download the mocap data without the mesh for idle, walk and death. The parts of mech can then be parented to the respective bones and all the mocap datasets combined in the NLA to give the mech animation. Once our core animation is done, we set up the rest of our scene. The ground consists of six particle systems working in tandem to create the vegetation-rich environment of Pandora. We have trees, weeds, some rock, low vegetation, then mushrooms, and finally some exotic medium vegetation. For the background rocks, we want them to be covered with moss as well. For this, we have two shaders. One is the rock shader and the other is moss. They're both combined with Perlin noise as the factor. To mix it further with the ground, we import the ground material and mix the output of previous material with the ground material using vertical gradient as the mix factor. To top it all off, we have a looping animation of Ikran that we import as a plane. To put the Ikran in our scene, we simply keyframe the position of the plane. An avatar scene is not complete without some big puffy clouds. For that, we can download free VDB cloud volumes from Ambigen website, link in the description. We import them and tweak the density of the volume to our liking. For the explosive impact, we import another VDB and this time it's animated. With some destroyed mech parts here and there, our entire scene is now set for the showdown. This is an outdoor environment and an HDRI with appropriate rotation would suffice as the primary source of lighting. With this angle, we get long shadows and nice volumetrics within the clouds as well. We now have a lot of volumes in our scene and this can dramatically increase our render times. To keep them under control with minimal loss of quality, we set the volume bounces as 2. And under volumes, step rate render at 5 and max steps at 256. With motion blur, transparency, tiling and persistent data on, we set out to render. After the render, we choose this as our background sky image. But we have one problem. This is only 1080p in resolution. 
but for it to be a good background, we would need it to be much higher resolution than that. For this, we use a free software called Chainer to upscale the image from 1080p to 8K resolution. There's a tutorial in the description that shows how to set it up. With the Chainer set up, we go to PyTorch and drag out the upscale image node. We load the AI trained upscaling model here. If this is the heart of our operation, this is the brain. We drag out the image to load the image file. Set the output from output socket. Connect the name with the name and set an output folder. With this circuit in place, we start the upscaling process. It takes a few seconds and here we have an image upscaled from 1080p to 8K. We can appreciate the difference in the detail by comparison. For compositing, we import the upscaled image as background for our render. We apply a small amount of camera lens blur and vibrance to it. We then have a vignette at the bottom and top part of the image. Our render layer then comes on top of this. This is followed by explosive impact. We change the color of the explosion using Video Copilot color vibrance effect, which is arguably a better form of tint effect. To add some glow to the explosion, we duplicate this layer and add a Gaussian blur to it. We do a small amount of color correction for higher contrast, a fog layer on top of everything to give it uniformity and some atmosphere. As a cherry on top, we add lens flare from the direction of the light, and this completes our composite. The sound design is very simple. In the first step, we have the sounds of the mech. Second step has sound effects such as explosive impacts and mech falling down. Gluing it together is the main soundtrack with the battle cry. And there you have it, a Navi resisting the occupation forces and perceived a hero of the clan. Let me know if you have any suggestions for more breakdowns. Be sure to grab the free assets from my gumroad and I will see you soon. Farewell.